Hello YouTube, Westy987 here, bringing you a continuation of my Let's Play First Look. I see the Frozen Frostbite edition. Uh, the last episode we managed to break in quite a load of mutants off, almost die and end up in the same problem that everyone is going to do see high throughout the uh, and I just... Um, but I did get some nice bullets. Always good. Yeah. I thought it was you for a moment. Of course. Look around. I want to try to check with you in private. Oh, it's not. Well, don't worry. It's nothing bad. I should want to talk to you about the current situation in the world. It's starting to feel it. Waking up is harder. Walking all day is harder. Cheese even is hard. It can make harder. I don't know how much longer I'll be around, especially if we keep moving through the mantle chasing out the dangerous people. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed permission in that anymore. We're doing some crazy stuff with true, but trust me, I don't know how much I feel the weight of all those years. You want to be prepared for the day. The day you wake up and find me dead in my tent. I need you to be prepared. What's happened? Why is it living? I'm getting old. It's facing reality. Don't expect you to fully understand. You're way younger. Anyway, I want to talk to you. Uh, talk about our family and our task. You can tell the whole situation. We have a few nice people with it. Even that fine guy, despite his silent attitude, seems like a decent man. The problem is, they must keep it together. I remember the last time Carlson mob. But it will happen again. It's hard to have a hand as if nothing is soon as possible. I'm not going to be friendly. I'm not going to be too old. I want to be a good leader. You need to know about them and how to deal with them. I'm not going to be one. 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 I have no one I'm sure to you, but I mean, I have no real relationship with people. I want to hear him, he's not too much. We're not equal to us, you're our leader, and you need to behave like it. Turn it around, forget. You're welcome. You know, you can count on me. You're on the line, I'll try to do that. Come on, the long road ahead of the church, I'll leave you alone. Wrap me in soup. Put it in the microwave. I need the food. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, let's go get something. Um. Ooh, I'm full. That means I need to sell some.
guns. Um, fire out and push this. That then hopefully can make me get the hunting rifle. Uh, I need the hunting rifle. Good spear and uh, spare spear. Hunting rifle. Rusty rifle. A rusty rifle and. There was like an organization for this. I don't know why I don't want to survive it. Let's do this. I could theoretically die just to sign up. Can I sell my rest of gear? Yeah. Um, well. At least it's educational for the next five years, assuming I die. Sell this. Uh, box. Um, what about a dead? Okay, okay. Why don't you need rations? Uh, how's the situation? Brigade. Uh, damn. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to sell it to whoever gives me the worst, so. Nothing more than some stalls and some crates. 
A young woman seems to be the only one working here. How may I help you? What are you afraid of? Anything? Is there any trouble? There's some frivolous... Uh, I'd like some room. Why are you here? I don't want the guards to see me chatting with people. If you have questions, ask my room and others. Right. I will take your bandage. missing companion and a hunk gone wrong. It's happened a few days ago. Suddenly a middle aged man turns to you and speaks in his colourful tone. Do you need something? Because she's sure to listen to people's conversation. Sorry I've heard you can't. I might be able to help you find it. One speaks up. We lost them three days ago. There's not nothing with you. They're probably dead. Middle aged man pushed their own. We can't be sure of that. The two start arguing and the third hunter tries to stop you. The stranger, we lost dark companions in the woods not here. If you happen to find their belongings even the living bodies would be really appreciated. The hunters keep arguing amongst themselves. You hear them. We keep repeating the same things, just for different words, never reaching a solution. Um, that's a loner. Old man is reading a warm book and he sits inside a small booth. When he sees you coming, he raises his hand. How can I help you? Some years ago, I never recovered. Not fully, at least. I can't even walk properly now, so I stay and help the strangers and manage the other hunters. At least people can draw on my expertise. Hunting's not easy around here. We can't rely on what we go in this garden only. We can't have too much fun not in the white wasteland. The garden's the only place in the world where people are still able to grow their own food. We're really lucky. We sell a lot of food to strangers like you in exchange. We get what we need to get this room. Just a little counter with some chairs and tables scattered around it. There's no one inside except for the bartender. Great travel, how can I help you? Would you like something to drink or maybe just taste of a famous product? Uh, we'll see if he's got anything. Uh, three food for eight is quite good. without getting shot. The press guard is in an entrance to the other end of the city. There is a little area outside of it. Um, fine. Uh, as soon as she, she starts screaming, it depends on you. You saying, was that supposed to be a joke? What, I told you what you wanted to know. Are you serious? You, serious, they're all dead and it's your fault. We, you send them there. You know it was dangerous. I got a pressure for you, got in hand. You better calm down and go away. We'll give you what you wanted. Your kind is not welcome here. Um, do you hear the arm guy? Calm you and scram. It's not our fault. You white people die so easy. That's what you get for walking around naked and fighting with wooden sticks. The woman straightens up, closes her eyes, and exhales. Not today, but you're going to pay for this. She turns around and goes, That's it. She sees you approach and speaks up for you. Do you need something you're just staring at mine? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with your cold perception? It's from the white people. They can resist the cold thanks to their weird magic tattoos. It's not magic. It's a blessing bestowed upon us so that we may surprise this cold world. Too bad the cold's the only, not the only danger in the wasteland. Why not? Now unless you're willing to help a desperate woman, please let me know. What happened? Why are you so angry with them? 
came here to find some of our people, a group of explorers in search of knowledge. They went missing and I came here to discover what had happened. I asked this gentleman, where my brother and Ted and he gladly wanted me on on the trail. They were all dead, slaughtered by mutants. I don't know if it was his intent to send them to their death. I wouldn't be surprised. Tell me about the explorers and what they were searching for. My sister's you from a problem to send away this future. It's complicated. There are strange places around the wasteland. White lice land, secret laboratories built by the oceans in an attempt to understand the secrets of nature. Those works would only serve to do us all. We usually don't care about ancient technology, but this time is different. Those laboratories had something that we must retrieve, even if meant fighting a dozen of mutants that have made them their dead. That's why I need your help. I'll tell you more when we find it. Sure, let's help. Flashes with Jeremy and Smile, thank you, thank you very much. I need all the help I can get. We'll meet at the location where my people died, I'll show you where it is, it's not far from here. It's easy to miss. You can prepare yourself and don't alley. Oh, I think I forgot to introduce my own name. John Eve? Uh, thank you again, I'll wait right for you. She smiles once more, I'm sorry. Disturbed by the call, despite her microphone. Right, so that might go. You wander among the bushes and trees while you spot something interesting. There is a little hut where someone is working. Focus of a deer with the bushes nice. Who we found whom we're looking for. Let's try and talk take him by surprise. We don't end up chasing him all over the woods. I'm not comfortable with the idea of killing him guys. We barely know who he is. Maybe he isn't a real killer. We don't have much toys. We have to take his head back. We would make up a story and bring someone else into that. Just just another reason to know the disease guy. If you want to find out whether there's a killer or not, catch him in the same way. I mean, they'll just punch him in the face until he says what you want to hear. Obviously, I'm not, not sure. Yeah, but then you want to end up in jail. Shut up, do you want him to hear us? Look at you in size, and then there's like a ton of looks away, but he's different than the next one. So we're we'll back to the child. Oh, we're we'll tied to something to do. Um, take him by surprise. Split up, let's go to the big area. He keeps pushing away the, the day. He's trying to be easy. He can come out of your head and we're trying to do like that. And then he might escape. Jumps to his feet, rolled and having a Oh no, I'm just here. Analyzes his weapon, realizes he couldn't do much with it anyway. Then starts babbling. What do you want? Uh, we're looking for Beatrod. And you found him, where would you search him to be? Um, someone wants you dead. Um, no, of course you did. Why would she tell you about me? Him? Uh, you're a killer. That's a lie. It's nothing but a lie. She only wants to kill me because we had a fight when we were on. Test together. You have to believe me. Uh, why should I believe you? Let me tell you the whole story. It was just outside this one place full of rabid mutants. She wanted to get inside because we were in an ancient military base and she desperately wanted to grab everything she could. I didn't want to go inside. She got mad at me because I would rather live without a new god than become mutant champ. She was so stubborn. She decided to go in with two of our people. She, she was the only one to get out of life despite giving it a nasty blow for one, and yet she still has the gall to blame me for what happened. I'm no killer, please, you have to believe me. Just tell me what she offered you to kill me and I'll double that offer. Uh, we have no choice, we're searching for a condom in the junkie town, she's going to lead him to it. No wait, I know the guy. I know where you can find him. I deal with him. What well, I used to be a scavenger, no one knows his name, he calls himself the keeper. So we did too. You don't need to kill me, I'll join your group and lead you to the place personally. Yep. You won't regret that. Take your proof, I'm more capable than you. I'm running. Hold your horses, we don't need the guy, we can trust him, we know about that thing. We don't have an air to go. I'll just stay back from the 
like that trip. Then you're at the CS2 without portion. And then you're like, the location of the relic on it, you can resume your training because of the white Island. And I've got a new person that hopefully will come with, uh, he can hunt and he can shoot. Which is good. And I have best improved weapon. And I. How can people not have coats or jackets, really? Uh, I want to have meds. Meds are important. Survivor. Right, now, somewhere. Oh, is he the guy that's. Right now. Go out the buck. Really, come on.
I like these places. I don't understand how a handmade rifle is worth more than a spy gun. Mm. That's 15 health versus 30 bullets is still cheaper than uh, craft. Place for charge is not easy, but you find out for your eyes. She's there and waiting for you to show up. She waves you to You came after all. To be honest, I had my doubts that I'd leave about that, but I'm glad you've accepted to tell me. Place your search for her. You see the building, it didn't age too well. You cannot access the underground area from here, everything's clapped on the inside. There's a few keys we can go through, but that leads to the laboratory. We need to be careful though, there's a lot of mutants there. I made some touch in the meter, maybe if I hire a scare away at least a little bit. I don't like this, fighting humans is one thing, but the horror is horror as he pauses from her. I don't like this. Me either. I don't want to risk my life just for some weird freaks. I'm sure we're going to do this. She, he smiles nervous, looking around, etc. Of you, what I mean. Is it worth it? We'll do what we have to. Mutants are fierce and dangerous, but ultimately brainless. We really need to be careful. The ones in the church didn't like, like primitive bees, but you're right, we can deal with them. We should be fine, my brethren. We're only a group of three. They were many more and we know what the threat we're facing. Let's be careful. We're going on for that. We can easily some large part. So that we're worth the risk, otherwise I'll be in enough in at least two weeks. Did the boss make you angry before I join you guys or what? You seem to be in annoying all the time. Got a smile, standard attitude, trust me, you've seen nothing. One of the entrance is not far from here, prepare your weapons we'll need him. She starts walking around the bed. After three minutes you reach a small grave. Here we are. It's kind of narrow here, but it's way long, larger on the other inside. You keep walking through the tunnels for a while, one after another, trying not to get stuck. When you finally enter a large cavern where you can move easily, it's clear the trace of mutant activity here. Bones, feces lie on the ground around you, and some of the rains are human. It doesn't take much time to find graves, graves, friends. Uh, here they are, we'll stay, the mutants had on them for in the meantime. Anyways, they didn't die here, the mutants should trade the bodies down to this day, but they died in the laboratory. Various else, we haven't encountered a single mutants, because there isn't much space for them to fight here, but the rooms 
required as a header of specific for the ambush. You reach the end of the cave and emerge from what seems to be an underground complex. There are traces of music sound, but not as many as you've seen in the tunnels. This place reeks. You white people are not accustomed to crawling through old buildings. That's just why I smiled worse things much worse. Uh, turn around, please. We don't need to know about your toilet time. Why not? I'll just give you the worries, I promise. Now stay focused, there are... These three were warriors prepared for the task, not just common wanderers. You press through the dark corridors, empty towards one in Geneva. Leads you until you end up in the large room. There she stops trying to examine its contents, focusing on a few test tubes with some glowing white fluid. And this is the same used in the tattoos of yours. Mine comes from sacred dreams and warmth of radiate it radiates. It's a blessing that allows me to survive this cold world. This this is the work of some crazy scientists in the past, I'm glad. Uh, I came here to find if the two things are similar in any way. The colour of fur is slightly it seems to resemble more liquid and it barely emits any heat. It looks like something different, but I'll take it with you just in case. When it's too hot it's just to be abandoned nonsense, I mean it's something similar, something capable of creating heat. Similar doesn't mean the two things are the same. Also, I don't think you have the knowledge to assess this properly. We can follow the city here in a really nice and dangerous somewhere else. I agree, we don't need to find mutants if your mission was only to achieve that thing. Oh, stairs are true. They're so fine. I guess our lives are worth more important than this. Come on, let's finish this. I thought Mortland's count of time. Being in close space never helped. Even who was got in the corner of it, suddenly barging through. Guys, we have a problem. A problem with nature scream. She's clearly loses her temper. There's a horde of mutants going in. We see other heroes moving in the corner. A horde. We only saw something moving. And we're not even sure about that. I'm sure we're going to ignore this. We have to get out. These things know how to seek up on us. It's true. Most mutants are formidable hunters. We may be able to surround already. Their approach can be impossible to hear. That's why I need to go help. We're gonna be the worst in the next two weeks, boss. Don't say I don't warn you. Um, let's defend. Yep. Yes. But we risk facing countless hordes of stinky mutants to stay here trapped for god knows how long. There can't be countless hordes. The white wrestling kind of prosperous and rough to satisfy a hundred of these creatures. They're worried about a single move. That's <laughs> if we can't remember the hordes, it doesn't make me sound happier. We have to make it a little. No, we're gonna do it. You decide not to leave the room, not to move the team, and our entrance to your own entrance. Everyone moves in position. Well, as soon as the noise starts coming from the car, the fight is inevitable. Press the oath, they're coming, just kill everything that tries to bring in. Kind of the idea. I have more health now! Oh, hell. They're beastie mutants.
Can I heal? No. Oh, that's not good. I want to heal now. Jesus, can I heal? Fire was over. Woohoo! Yay, I won! Now I need to get back to the way Holy, we did it. I hope it was worth the risk. Nearly became the lunch. He was up to deeply thankful for what he did. It took all great help. So I'm play and let me join you on travel. As you've seen, I'm capable of hiding. Yep! Leave, smile, and give a slight bow for a while. It's no worth it more time I'll play you indeed. He walks away with us here, but not a stand still look at you with his idiotic smile. Expression changes from around and says to see April watching him and he looks at you again and smiles and you smiling to him. He starts giggling oh, and starts giggling and looks at you straight in the eyes. Glowing <laughs> And he simply says and walks away still giggling. Heal, 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 heal. And I have far exceeded my uh, plan time limit, so I will say thank you very much for watching. I've been with 987 and this has been my Let's Play Icy. Hope you're enjoying this series so far, and if you are, like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.